Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I hope you are doing great and having good health. In this video and in the next video, I shall discuss some uh, beautiful and interesting phenomena that is taking place in a uh, plane mirror. And this is one of them. So, the first phenomena that I shall be discussing in this tutorial is that keeping the directions of incident ray unchanged if we change the mirror into an angle what is the angle of the reflected ray will change so this is a very interesting phenomena and the answer is actually twice why it happens so we can prove it in a, in a geometric way so before going to explain it I need to make you understand that what is this what is the actual figure of it think about it suppose the previous one this is the previous one that uh, M and M prime. I'm just making it in a smaller way. Okay, so M and M prime is this angle, and and this mirror can rotate based on this O point. Now, what happened? Like A O was the incident ray, and O B was the reflected ray, right? And O M actually was. O M actually the normal upon the incident point is O. So as it is A B like this. So now we can say that N is the normal. So we can say that this A angle N and B angle N are same because following the rules of uh, the law of reflection we know that the incident angle and the reflected angle are same so we can simply say that angle a o n and angle b o n are same so first thing is that from the law of reflection so we can say that from the law of reflection we can say that angle a o n because you, you think about not think about the n prime and b prime just think about this one that this angle and this angle are same okay so we say that this is i and this is r now you think that these angles are same so we would say this r with i okay so this b o n would be I I so this is same so we can say this is angle I so now if we say the total angle is the total angle A O B is actually I plus I so we can say this is 2 I okay and now if we change the, the plane the mirror into an angle and that angle is this angle is suppose theta theta okay it can be 5 degree 4 degree 2 degrees whatever but we change the angle of the mirror based on the position O so what will happen that when it was in M M prime level M was the 90 degree right this N was the 90 degree now you change the position of the mirror so it will definitely change the normal the position of normal so if you change this theta the angle in between these would be again theta so the amount of angle is changed in case of mirror the same change will take place in case of normal position and now when you change it this, the position of mirror but keeping unchanged the incident ray now the reflected ray would be B prime now we need to think what is the value of this angle now what will happen now you say that A O N prime is the incident angle when we change after change after after change of the mirror after change of the change of the mirror actually 
is theta angle. So you can say angle A O N prime, the new normal N prime, and is equal to what? Is equal to I plus theta. It was previously A O N I, and now just change of theta. So now we just say angle A O N prime is I plus theta. Similarly, as B prime is the reflectant ray, so B prime O N prime is also I plus theta because this is the incident angle and this is the reflected angle as because when you change it A O N prime this angle is equal to this angle right because this is the new normal when you change the mirror into m prime m1 prime so this theta plus will take place in both cases so now if we say the total angle a o b prime is 2i plus theta which is 2i plus 2 theta so if you make a bag over here now you think that we, we took the total angle so you said that previously this is i. So now this is a o n prime is i plus theta. So now n prime o b prime is again i plus theta. The same angle. If we deduct a o b prime, sorry, a o b from a o b prime, then we will have this angle. Is it? So if we deduct angle a O B prime angle A O B so we know previously that angle A O B is 2i and now A O B prime is 2i plus 2 theta so what we can say that A O B prime is 2i plus 2 theta now minus A O B that is 2i so from both sides to I will be vanished. So the angle angle B O B prime is equal to 2 theta. So what is actually you got? You got that this new angle that is actually question mark is 2 theta. So from in which way we got this new angle? We took this whole angle A O B prime and then we did that these portions like a or b so we got this part so the question was that in which angle the reflected ray actually is changed so we take that as we took change uh, theta is actually the angle that this b or b prime has got two theta so now we can say that if we change the angle of mirror in theta angle then the reflected ray will change into 2 theta angle so if the, th the value of theta is 5 degree then it will be 10 degree so it just twice i hope you understand uh, the the very simple procedure of proving that there's some phenomena which is very simple uh, and interesting phenomena that take place in case of plane mirror so i hope you understand the figure and also you understand the process of doing it so uh, thank you so very much and if you have any recommendations and feedback put me in the comment sections and let me know your uh, suggestions or anything so see you in the next class i'm coming up with another phenomena of a plane mirror bye